Hey guys, Bay Area Aquatics here coming at you with an update video of my 90 gallon discus tank. This tank has been going on for about a little over two and a half years now. Checked back when the first update I did about that long ago on my YouTube channel. Um, not a ton has changed to be honest, uh, just because this is kind of the tank that's on the back burner right now. It's, it's kind of that tank that you just have and it just goes and you feed the fish. Don't dump a ton of money into it and you just it's just nice to look at. So since I last gave you guys an update maybe a year ago, a little bit has changed. I've gotten rid of quite a few discus. The ones I have have grown uh, quite a bit. I used to have something like, I want to say, 13 discus in here, all, all juveniles, but now uh, I have eight. Most of them are full-size adults. I have uh, still a few that are kind of like a medium size. They're all doing pretty well. I actually have uh, one pair that split off and is breeding. Everyone's kind of been aggressive at each other lately. I'm trying to do something to combat that, maybe lower the heat just a little bit, but we'll check that out as the future goes on. As for the other stocking, I have about five uh, American flag Healy fish. They're kind of on algae patrol. I do want to add up to about 10 or so down the line. It costs around 10 bucks where I'm at, so I'm just going to pace myself there. I used to have two German gold rams. They were trying to pair off as it seemed. Uh, looks like they're doing some breeding dances and it looks like the uh, the female killed the male so all I have is the female left. I'm probably going to trade her out for maybe an electric blue pair of rams. We will see. And I have one lone Cory. He's just he's been in my tanks for maybe five years now. I just have him still. And then I have an uncountable number of assassin snails that are doing pretty well. They're breeding. I might start selling those soon if I have any anybody interested and wants to buy, you know, like 20, 30 assassin snails. I've done that before in the past. That's about it for the stocking of this tank. I'm really kind of wanted to keep it the way it is. If anything, I'll get rid of one or two discus just to um, just so when these guys get even bigger there's not as much aggression and a little bit more room for these guys and then get a little bit more keely fish for algae control that's one thing I do have an issue with in this tank is algae just because um, it's in the family room which has basically like five big windows that I try to keep closed during the day but you know sometimes on the weekends we open them up and then you know ex extra algae gets in there so I try to keep it under control with a bunch of water changes and things like that discus you do have to change the water at least you know once a week I've gotten away with doing it every other week or so some people go overboard and do it like every other day or so um, I just don't think that's incredibly necessary with all the plants I have in here and with discus you do have to feed them quite a bit especially with this mini discus just so they can keep their metabolism up and everything like that so it is kind of a constant struggle I do have an 8 bulb uh, T5HO fixture over this tank um, at the moment I am only running 6 bulbs it seems to be doing pretty good I, I do have some demanding plants such as the pearl weed which is the uh, bottom carpeting plant that I'm growing in right now I tried 8 bulbs um, just way too much getting like an insane amount of algae on the glass I have to scrape off all the time um, 4 bulbs just isn't enough so six is kind of the sweet spot right now. I am still running the same uh, wet dry sump with a bunch of just pot scrubbies in there, dual overflows. I did upgrade my pump. I did have a Rio. I forget the model number on the Rio. I believe is one of the hyperflows. Really given some good turnover in this tank. And I did change that out for a Mag 18, Mag Drive 18. Uh, that thing is a flipping beast. I had to crank it down at least to half power. And it's also going through a CO2 reactor, which limits the flow quite a bit. Um, so lots of turnover in this tank. I did add a spray bar um, as opposed to two kind of jets. The spray bar has been doing pretty good, uh, just kind of more even flow for the higher, uh, higher flow rate. And I didn't want a ton of surface agitation because I am doing uh, pressurized CO2. And I'm doing that with a five pound tank uh, with a Milwaukee regulator into a kind of a custom reactor that I built. So it's really getting the CO2 mixed in there pretty good, available for the plants. As far as the plants go, I've gotten rid of a ton just because there's a point there where uh, I wasn't running CO2 or dosing or anything like that. This tank was kind of getting neglected. So a lot of the plants just died. I do have lots and lots of uh, Italian Val and that stuff has been in here since day one. Um, it just never dies. It keeps growing like crazy 
crazy. I just gotta, you know, cut it and trim it every once in a while, and it just does good as a background plant. Kind of like it because it does give it kind of an Amazon feel where these fish are from. I did add a few massive swords in there. I've had to trim those down quite a bit because that seems to be where a lot of the algae is growing. I have been getting some yellow leaves, some pinholes, things like that. So I'm really trying to get back on dosing for the swords and other plants. I mean, it might be because my um, substrate doesn't have enough nutrients in it to support those big, big swords. So I'm gonna look into some additives for that. Other than that, I do have a free, few crypts on the bottom. I tried some rotala, some high grow. That seemed to kind of melt away. So I need to test some parameters see what I need to get in line to get a more um, more plant variety in there I do have my uh, pearl weed carpet if you guys remember my 55 gallon tank maybe four or five years ago uh, that thing had a massive massive pearl weed carpet um, from left to right it was just full and thick um, I was always trimming that thing so I'm definitely trying to get back with the pearl weed carpet because I think that's one of the coolest things to have in a planted tank um, it's filling in really really nicely um, on the left and the right I'm to start trimming it and plug the middle a little bit but that co2 has really gotten it to take off so it's doing really really well other than that nothing else has really changed i do run a, a fluval 404 at the moment it's out of commission just because one of the uh, pieces that holds in the impeller is one of the clips broke they're not the best filters as far as like longevity but the parts are super super cheap so i really can't complain for the filtration capacity that i do get with that other than that i've been dosing um the seachem products excel or i stopped doing excel I've doing, been doing like more like the iron, potassium, and that sort of deal just to kind of supplement the plants. So it's I really need to step it up on that because I am running out at the moment. So I'm going to get back on the horse with that. One last thing before I go, because this is just a quick update, nothing too crazy here. I do, like I mentioned earlier, the, the breeding pair that I have in here is two albino blues. Uh, they're trying to breed on the overflow box. They've been steady at it every five days or so. They've been laying a new batch of eggs. Every once in a while, I'll scrape it off just because the water I have doing water changes with this tank is just way too hard to support any, um, any discus breeding. That and the other fish just get all aggressive when they try to get on the other side of the tank. So I just try to knock them off as quick as I can. I do plan on uh, taking the eggs down to the fish store that I work at, Fantastic in Antioch, California, and breeding them there because that's what um, the owner does is he's been breeding discus since the 70s. So all I got to do is, he, he said once they lay the eggs, hopefully on like a, a magnet or a piece of slate or something like that, within a few hours, take it down there and then he'll be able to breed them just because the uh, the hardness of the water in here is just too much for them. They just get fungus and I got to take them off anyways. So it'd be kind of cool to have some albino blue discus because these are some really, really gorgeous fish. I actually got all of these fish from Fantastic in Antioch that he's bred. I have some snake skins and the albino blues are all perfect, almost, well, not really show quality just because uh, I when they were growing up, I didn't do as many water changes as I should have to get them to maximum size. And then I only have two orange snake skins. They have some peppering on them. Um, I got these guys for free because of the peppering but the other guys are like really really nice quality discus other than that I will try to keep you guys updated if anything you know changes in this tank because this is my only tank at the moment I'm working in the process of making another reef tank as um, some of my subscribers know me for having salt water so thank you guys for watching this was kind of a long update I'll be sure to be posting some more videos in the future so thank you guys for watching